Empty backfield, low throw. Was there... Get him in those tight windows, and last couple weeks he's gone back to that a bit. Under center, hands off to Dylan Johnson in the Mississippi State transfer, and aggressive. Yeah, you're right. Hold up, next man up. It's depleted back there. Here's Johnson with a power run for about four. It's three to the right. Penix with a screen finds Odunze. Has a block. It doesn't take much to get him free. And they're going to drop eight. Look how deep they get. And you can get that ball underneath. Give those linemen a chance to get out in front. There's a lot of room when a defense is dropping that deep. Off the first down. They play with some tempo. Trojans rush three. Penix has time and delivers a beautiful the sophomore. Nebraska transfers the tailback, takes it on the pitch. Has a crease. And Nixon knocked out. Alex Grinch hearing it from some ex Trojan greats and others about the defense at SC. Penix across the middle. He finds Nixon and gets the first. For opponents. Penix would expect seven points here based on the history and finds Odunze. He's dragged down. And it's as advertised. We just talked about our impact players. Jackson out there with the Dunze. Johnson back in a tailback. He's got the ball, but gets very little in the. Johnson, he just walked. Big man right here on a short yardage play. Look at that left side. You talk about physicality, getting low, having some power, just collapse. Penix has time, delivers a dart, there's a flag out as the catch is backwards. First and 20 inside the 10. Around the end. It's John in this offense playing with Michael Penix. They will fill in his story throughout the afternoon. He's out of the game. But the Mama, who has a danger blitz, possibly. He's showing. Pressure comes. Penix steps up, launches downfield, but it's over the head. Of but remember we said they've been rushing three, dropping eight, sinking everybody back. This time they do dial it up. First time they really... The update on what's going on elsewhere tonight within that showdown on the SEC West. Johnson. To that next level and that dream that he has. Penix, short throw. That's a doomsday. Yeah, he said he celebrated. Excuse me, uh, Giles Jack. Reverse. Jeremy Bernard looked like he wanted to throw it. Says, wait a minute, there's too much space. He goes, watch the SC defense. Everybody's going to overload. They're blitzing downhill. Nobody's left on the back end. Good time to call that after a change of. Tybo Rogers in the game, takes the pitch. Penix checks it down to Rogers. Whoop, gets past the man. Tybo Rogers. He's shifty. Moves down. Penix against a three man rush. Has all day. Just slings it over the head of Jalen. It's working. Looks great. Over the middle. Odunze with blockers. Showing great patience. Juking deep. And when they get deep. Michael Penix is showing maturity. He don't want to have to force the throw downfield. Let those linemen get in front of a Dunze and look at all that space again. With 19 more on that pass play. Huskies in the red zone. Penix pump fake now launches to the end zone. Oh, yeah. And when he comes up, it's exactly what you want. Watch this right here. He reacts to the pump fake. So watch what happens behind him. There it is. Ooh. Moving around. Now they get set. Play clock. Winding down on the edge, Johnson, and he motors all the way. Came off from an inadvertent touch. It didn't okay. come off from the face match. Right. The gate's a 14-yard run. Johnson's got it again. Inadvertent, Bill said down there in the end. Yeah. Penix from the pocket, spins free. Trying to mirror Kate Williams' creativity, launches the end zone. He's thrown 11% of his throws outside of the pocket, but here's pressure and he somehow spins out of this But the most remarkable thing here is he's running for his life is right here He's looking at his two receivers. Here's the guy that ends up catching to play the big tight end Colt But he doesn't see him until the last possible second and he just kind of let me just take a shot Johnson Makes his way spins for about five you'll see in the sport Johnson 
Tripped up just as he tried. Honest in that run game. Penix under heavy pressure right away, complete behind the end, but you can see why he's got the nickname Bear, probably from a very young age. Nixon bursts ahead. Not near mid. <laughs> USC trying to shift around and respond to this, and not ready for Dylan Johnson. Can they get him? Dive for the pylon. And Fatanu, uh, the left tackle, watch the job that they do of just opening this up. Look at look at that. And again, you're a little light up front, but the next thing to react to is the free safety. What's he delaying on? I mean, you're talking about an All-American and Kalen Bullock just hesitating to react. You're in man-free, so the corner... ...because the Trojans were offside on the kickoff, so they begin from the 30 with a play fake on first down. Penix launching, and finally... Safety right here, Bryson Shaw. He just kind of starts to freelance. There's nobody back there, and you can't do that against Michael Penix. Eyes downfield, he's... Time, that's his first catch. A guy that has 600-yard games this season. That's of a runner is so important. If he would have bounced this outside, out here, he's got huge yards. Instead, he gets underneath. Didn't give a tackle for loss tonight in that first down run. Late pressure, Penix guns it, and it's incomplete. Yeah, they dialed up the blitz and, and got the ball out, but still, it's accurate. Look where he throws it. You know, away from... The They run it with Nixon on third and long, and he picks up only about. Penix, long throw wide open is Odunze. How do you ignore the? Watch him get lost out in space. Damani Jackson just kind of freelancing. Nothing. Along with this defense, dude's just making inexplicable decisions. They flip it short. Polk. Hammered after a short game. Time to go down the field and kick a field goal here in their last home game. Johnson leans to about that. Penix from the pocket against three-man rush. That was he. And watch the two on the inside. You see how they get manned up. See that man coverage? Now watch Polk. He's got two USC defenders, but they don't br bla uh, bracket him. They don't double him. He just fuck go goes to the inside. Huskies, two timeouts in a minute seven. Johnson barrels out inside the 10 because there's a chance to take their first lead. Johnson to the edge, down to the one. A couple plays ago, how he got impatient on this counterplay and cut it underneath. This time, there he goes, allows it to be able to get established in front of him. They Johnson dives in at us. I see down lineman in this set. And Johnson around the right side to get him to the ground after. This is the most points. Oh, he's a trick play. Penix walked away. Johnson gets the direct snap. Teen. Penix plenty of time. Johnson. On the edge, breaks a couple tackles out of trickery to move the football. Why, why not just get the ball to your playmakers here again? Check it down now. You got to tackle. You know that, that that's one thing. Keep the ball back in tonight, but that doesn't begin to explain it. Penix again against the three-man rush, launching downfield. Giles Jackson just. Tybo Rogers back in the game. They fake it to him. Yep, right across the middle is Jeremy Bernard. Another first. Watch the play fake. And then watch how quickly he sees, first of all, that this is soft. Nobody's nobody's up close on him. The ball just gets out. Right is. Oh, time in the world. A launch gets it underneath to Jalen Polk. Oh. But he's looking the other way. Yeah. Lobs it up in the air. A juggling catch but mentioned trips to the side to the boundary because they wanted to create this that's a matchup they want one-on-one -on -one. decent coverage but there's the physicality of a doomsday and how big he is at 6-3 Penix again three-man rush down the middle just getting a hand on it up and make this play in the middle of the defense watch him he eyes it he sees it and then he climbs to be able to get up in the air and great awareness to come up they had won this last series when they got the interception. A dude's in the backfield. They flip it to Polk on the end around and
tackle made. Protection in those seats. Johnson off the left side. Dylan Johnson with a three touchdown first half. Just keep thinking tonight, three minutes. Yeah, watch the block by 72. The center, Brailsford, good job again of just kind of sealing that. Johnson cut right. Game. Will Nixon spells him on this snap. Penix has pressure. That's a rare blitz. Flags in the secondary. He's in his career already, able to avoid injury that time. Johnson just plows ahead. Johnson this time is sworn behind the line. But he does. He follows the running back from the right to the left by shooting that gap. Incredibly successful in third down tonight. We talked about the four touchdowns on third down plays across the middle. It's Westover, and they get a first. Love this that Penix sees to deep. They show blitz. Look how deep they're getting. Okay, I'll take them. that. That that is maturity. Tybo Rogers. Starting down to the one. Exploration. Penix. What else? Just behind this offensive line, especially the center Brailsford. That time, Bear Alexander unable to get Penix. There's a first down run for Johnson, who hammers forward. Johnson makes a cut. Dylan Johnson just building on the. Penix pulls it and shows his strength for a period. Get a break of serve. Penix backpedaling, firing, and Polk was grabbing. And this is what you risk either a big play pass or a pass interference. interference. He grabs onto it, grabs onto that. Johnson just nice. Johnson's got it again. Barreling down deep inside the red. 20 more gets him to 191. Yeah, look, look at the look at that hole. I mean, it's a great run, and I love Dylan. Tech, as you said, enormous tonight. Penix. With Johnson working back towards him. Penix is scanning deeper downfield and just throws it away. Red zone visit for the Huskies. Five for five touchdowns so far. The Trojans are there to swarm. Yeah, you, you, you'll see movement here, and then they work around. They're, one thing that Alex Grinch tries to do is manufacture by moving deep. Pressure comes. It's picked up. Penix has time, directing traffic, running out of time, spins, and is sacked. And, and just being a robber by Kalen Bullock, one of the better safeties in the country. This time, he's just kind of taken everything away by sitting there reading the eyes of Penix. Pinnock's trying to cure the game if they can reach the end zone. Johnson on the pitch gets the drive started with a big chunk play. It's a foot race. Dylan Johnson finally shoved it. Center out here, a great block on the outside by Jalen Polk right there, too. 73 gets out there. All the receivers and Dylan Johnson having a night you can dream about. Play clock all the way down at two. Penix. Doesn't want to score too quickly here. Flags out in the holding zone as he chucks it downfield. And another for Wilson. And then the sack of Penix, which killed a drive earlier. He's made two big plays tonight. Tybo Rogers. Watch him, the left tackle. Watch when he gets outside. Look at him. You're talking about a 300 pounder. He's 15, 20 yards downfield. Rogers harassed early. That was. They're in the fringe field goal range right now for Gross on third down. Throw near the marker. I, the officials will spot it short. Fourth down. The ball brings him back. He runs a pretty good route, but the ball's is lined up seven yards behind the line, takes the pitch, and spins forward inside. Execution and game management equally important here. Odunze. Or excuse me, Giles Jackson. It's Jack. Great job by Penix here. Stack the receiver. Ball is out early before he even turns. And Jackson. Penix, long throw. Pull game. And Dylan Johnson. There he is, Johnson. Around the end. Diving out of bounds. Get to the line. 
Johnson. Touchdown number four. Deep hole now. Yeah, when in doubt, you go behind that left side. They've had a great night. The big tight end, Quentin Moore, often has been lining up. 88 on that left.